sense of organization. If you're trying um, to find the duties of the video store manager, it'd be difficult for you to see um, what you're supposed to be doing. But when you organize it, if you go through the steps, it turns into this list. Um, so group by function, there may be a pre-established order for a document. You can do research and find an order. Um, say you're working on a, a video camera manual. Um, there's a lot of documents in that way. So you can just uh, use that format or see what other people did and um, emulate their style. You can um, then antip anticipate reader questions and needs. What order are they going to need to do something? Uh, if you have uh, a manual for a computer, but it's on the internet, um, it's not helpful to someone just opening their computer out of the box and trying to use it. 
So arranging information from general to specific and from familiar to new. Um, I'll, um, one, if you see it new to new, K-N-E-W to new, you start the beginning of your sentence or the beginning of your paragraph or the beginning of your document with information people already know and then tie it into the new information. Uh, applying conventional patterns of organization, you would match structure to meaning. Uh, grouping related material and then using parallel structure for parallel sections. Um, another, if you could do this on your own later, uh, the discussion and application exercise. We could outline the steps um, for this one. So we have um, this information here. It's just thrown in, in the alphabetical order. Uh, if you have a list of names, that could be a logical way to organize your information. Uh, but to follow pre-established document structures, uh, this was information to do with a library. So if you had someone going to the library for the first time and wanted to know what services they have, um, to organize this information, you could see different libraries' web pages and see how they put it. And that would be following a pre-established document structure. Uh, you could anticipate reader questions and needs. If you were a first-time library user, what would you want to know first? Arranging information from general to specific and from familiar to new, you might have to do research on the particular topics to put them in a logical order. Uh, applying the conventional patterns of organization, grouping related materials, and then using parallel structure for parallel sections. Any questions on organization? What do you mean by parallel structure throughout? And I mean, I'm familiar with parallel structure, but how, how do you how do you apply that or apply uh, ap apply it to organization of the entire document? So, if we had um, this is just the organization of the um, the chapter. Um, if you had headings and subheadings, um, having like all verbs or all nouns, um, if you're doing task-based order, um, you would always say um, click here, and then um, it would be confusing to say in order you're supposed to click here, and then having an, an unparalleled part that says um, Printing a document, and I don't have a good example of that, but um, in here they put their, their headings in a parallel structure. So we have like organization for performance, organization for comprehension. So we have a noun, and then it's described, and it follows through the whole section. So when you say organization for performance, is, is you mean like click here? Is that it, is that is that what you're talking about? Yes. Any other questions? Um, I'm guessing in this case, because th this reminds me of my own presentation. Actually, I use uh, tables to present data and uh, and show comparisons between data. And to keep it parallel, I chose to use the same type of table every time. So would it be more confusing if I weren't to do that? Say if I would use a table on one slide, and then the next slide I did like a Venn diagram, uh, something that can also compare different elements, but that isn't parallel and isn't consistent. That would be a poor use of uh, keeping parallel organization within my document, right? That's a good example. Awesome. Would that apply to font also? Like. Uh you know, using font to create the hierarchy of the information within that document? Yes, font, uh, typography. It would be confusing if the, the higher order headings were a smaller font than the lower order headings. 